Do I have to take jealousy? Why you keep teasing him like that? Let's get together Friday. Didn't you say the same shit to play? One's gonna be in trouble, the other one's gonna be available. Just playing the averages. Shereen, they're friends. You know, the cute ones always travel in packs, don't they? But then if you think about it, why is so ugly? Why well, would his breath hang out? <laughs> And that may not be by accident. You didn't like him till he was up. Yes, you didn't like him till he was up on me. Yeah, you know that is bullshit. He was up on me first. And why you think I didn't talk? Why you think I didn't talk to him, even though I knew you were playing him? Then you, then you put him all up in my face. I'm out of here. I'm out here, Sydney. He still gotta walk you home, right? If you think I'm done with him, try to take him. I ain't like you. That's why you mad now, folks. <laughs> I heard you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rekakre, Dash. Uh, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this word in all truth and sincerity. Salutations to the Akiyam out there on the highways and the byways teaching this word in all truth and sincerity and using and, using and putting their bodies up as a living sacrifice to edify the sheep. Uh, salutations to the hopeful elect and also to the brothers that be known as speckled birds that uh, uh, forefathers uh, 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 merged with the he uh, heathen, uh, basically had uh, sex with the heathen. And also uh, Shalom to the Aqua of sitting and listening. This is your brother Amoth, your eyes from your Howada coming at, which, coming at you with a little... Uh, few scriptures on this uh this this foolishness from house party one and this is just for pure edification for the scripts this is not nothing to be used on you know to glorify nothing but uh let's go to Sirach 25 and we're going to read verse 19 and it reads this all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman let the portion of a sinner fall upon her and as you can see, these these uh, these characters in these movies and basically probably in real life, they wicked as hell. Uh, let's jump down to verse uh, 21 and it reads this. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. Yeah, you, you can't desire a woman for no pleasure, man. You got to test everybody's spirit, man. All right, uh, we're going to go to 25, verse 25, and it reads this. Give the water no passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. You got to be smart, man. These, these scriptures are supposed to, you know what I'm saying, supposed to open your spirit on everything, man. You're supposed to be able to read through the BS, man. All right, let's go to uh, chapter tw uh, Sirach chapter 26. And we're going to drop down to verse 12. And it reads this. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. When he have found a fountain and drink of every water near her, by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. And we, y'all know what that means, man. Ain't no need for me to go ahead and uh, break that down. Y'all know what that means. Uh, hold on one second, Salakia. Yeah, I'm up. yeah, I can, I can read. I, I guess I can read verse fourteen. I'm gonna read verse fourteen and it reads this: A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord Jehovah, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. And that's true, man. Nobody, man, just like you, women don't want no punks, no suckers, no. I mean, well, actually, you know what? Most of y'all do want suckers and punks because y'all want to run them. But us men don't want no damn loud mouth. Woman that always want to argue, try to run stuff, man. We don't, we don't, nah, I don't, man. I read, man, no, I'm good. I can't speak for every other brother, but I'm good. Nah, I'm not, hell nah. All right, we're going to stay on chapter 26 and we're going to read verse 22 and it reads this A harlot shall be accounted as spittle, but a married woman is a tower against, against death to her husband. Verse 23. 
a uh, a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord Jehovah. And that also, matter of fact, I got I got to jump to. Uh, I'm going to say in the same chapter, 26, I'm going to jump to verse 3 real quick to line it up with what I just read. And it reads this. A good wife is a good portion, which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Lord Jehovah. So if you were wicked, if you were a wicked Israel nigga, you're going to get a wicked woman. So that's some punishment, man. If you were God-fearing man, he's going to bless you with a good woman, period. All right, we're going to stay at uh, Sirach chapter 26, and I'm going to read... Uh, I'm going to read 25, and it reads this. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord, Jehovah. And that's that's clear as day, man. That's cold, hard facts. Let me bring out these other, other scriptures right here real quick. This is going to be Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 20, and it reads this. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. And we all know that's a damn lie. Salakia. This is Proverbs chapter 31. And this is going to be verse 30. And it reads this. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, Yahweh, shall be praised and that's that's what the men of the lord need and that's what we want we want a woman that's going to feel fear you how about shim how shy man all right uh proverbs 31 and i'm gonna read i'm gonna start at verse 10 and it reads this who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies verse 11 the heart of her husband do safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil verse 12 she will do him good and not evil all the days of her of her life verse 12 she will do him good and not and not evil all the days of her life man that's a blessing man from your how about shim how was shy man point blank period man and i just want to bring out a few points on this clip man because there's a lot of this crazy folly stuff in these movies, man. And you just, you're not going to see it unless you're in these scriptures, man. You're not going to see it, man. This has been going on for years, man, with all this, uh, all this folly and this, uh, unbalanced, unbalanced, just, just, justful stuff they've been putting out to our people, man. But other than that, hopefully, so, hopefully y'all was edified off of this. Call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Wah, Abab, Abal, Shalom, Lord willing to the next one.